Hi there and welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to see together how to do a paid ad on Instagram. To do so, you have to access your Facebook Manager Ads dashboard. So let's start. In here, either you choose to do a quick creation for your campaign or you simply do the long way. We are going to do the long way. So we are going to create a new com campaign for our Instagram ads. I always recommend you to separate your Instagram ads from your Facebook ads. Instagram audience is different from Facebook audience and it's very important to be able to track Instagram numbers separately. That's why always keep your Instagram campaign alone, separated from your Facebook campaign. So in here you just click on conversion, you choose your uh, campaign name, I'm going to call it Instagram and I'm going to click on continue. So in here you put your ad's name, I'm going to put also Instagram, Instagram, I'm going to call, to call it Instagram yoga ad. Let's say I have a store that sells yoga, uh, yoga fitness wares. Okay, in here uh, you have to choose what kind of, uh, uh, of your target from this campaign. I'm going to choose purchase and I, I'm going to scroll here, here you choose your audience. Here you choose the location of your audience, the age of your audience, the sex of your audience. You can also choose the language of your audience. If you have already saved uh, uh, your audience, you can also pick the audiences, uh, this audience from the audience you have created before. But let's say you are new to this. I'm going to pick, for example, United States as my, as my loca location. So I have picked United States as my location. I'm going to pick everyone from the age of 18 to the age of, let's say, 50. Okay. And this is it. In here, in the detail targeting, here you have to put the information that you want to use to target exactly the audience you want to target. Let's say I'm going to uh, sell uh, yoga uh, out, out, outwards on Instagram. So it's very important to pick, to pick audiences who are interested on yoga. So what, how to do that? It's very simple. You search on Instagram for Instagram influencers in the theme of yoga, in the niche of yoga. And you simply put their names in here. When you put their names in here, you are targeting the, your audience, your Instagram audience, to the people who liked or who, or who follow this uh, influencer. So for example, I'm going to pick, I'm going to my Instagram account. You can search influencers in many ways, but for example, I have already, I know that this, this is a very uh, famous yoga influencer on Instagram. I'm going to copy her name from here. And I'm going in here, I'm going to paste it like this. Oh, okay, it paste something else. Let's say Kino, I know the name, Kino Yoga. So this is it. Okay, so my audience is now 170 million people. This is a very huge audience, but this audience is common between Facebook and Instagram. Now we are going to see how to, we are going to minimize this audience in a little bit. So, if you, if you don't know, uh, what kind of influencer you are going to put in here, as I told you before, you can search Google for influencers. For example, you can simply go to Google and you can simply type top 10 yoga influencers on Instagram. Okay, so you go to the links you have in here. You access the different influencers, uh, that they are here. You simply, for example, I'm going to pick um, one of them. Let's say I'm going to pick this one. So I'm going to copy her name like this. And you can also edit in here. You can also edit in here. So this is her. Okay. So in this way, I have uh, added my audience to 170 million people. And this is awesome. So I have enlarge my audience by adding a new Instagram influencers. You can also narrow your audience down in here by uh, adding uh, another another things like you can add uh, some sub niches, some uh, sub keywords and this way you can um, uh, you can uh, minimize your audience. Okay? Uh, I'm not going to change anything in here. In here in the placement I'm going to 
click on edit placement and in here i'm going to choose only mobile devices because instagram is only working is only powerful on mobile devices i'm going to remove the facebook from here because i'm going i'm going i'm going to remove the facebook from here because i'm only going to do the ads on instagram so see the audience is now lower uh, and i'm going to remove these ones also and these ones so you can see that instagram audience is different from facebook audience that's why it's very important to do the, your ads separately so in this way we have narrowed our uh, target to 100 million people it's a very large a very big number of people and when you use uh, different keywords in here you can narrow it down okay always try to narrow your audience down you don't want to reach too many people because in this way you will be paying too much it's very important to always narrow your uh, your audience because in this way you make you can make sure that your ads results will be better you can also remove this one if, if from here if you want to narrow down your audience see i have when i have removed this one my audience was narrowed down to only 59,000 people. So I always remove this one to narrow my audience down to a, a reasonable number and to make sure that my ads will reach people who are 100% interested. If for any reason you have put all your uh, keywords and all your, uh, your, uh, your information in, in here and your detailed targeting in here and you get a very small number, you can click the expand interest uh, checkbox in here and in this way your potential reach will go higher but for now i'm going to keep it like this, this way because in this way i have i'm getting a number of audience that's reasonable and that i like to work with so i'm going uh, in here i have picked instagram so don't don't forget to only pick instagram and i have choose only mobile devices here you can put your budget it's up to you i'm going to click on continue So here uh, you should start first by adding your Instagram account. I always recommend you to use your Instagram account, not your Facebook page. So you can simply click in here and add your Instagram account. In the format in here, you can choose any one of these. I'm going to choose the single image, for example. In here, you upload your image. I'm going to upload any image, for example, this one, any random image. You have to upload the product image, the image of the product you are going to advertise to. But for now, I'm picking any, uh, any photo just to show you how. So it's now, uh, it's now uploading. So in the links section, you have to choose between website or Facebook event. We are advertising on Instagram. So we are going to keep the website in here because we are going to advertise for our store. In the text section in here, you, you have to add the text you want to show on the Instagram ads. So it's very simple. You can simply write, uh, visit our store and you put your store name or your store tag to get 50% sale on this yoga outfit. Outfit offer is limited. This is an example about the text you want to show on your Instagram ad. So this is the text in here showing in here. Here you add your store URL and here you change your call to action. Let's say I want to have a call to action. This is your call to action. I want to change the call to action. I want to have to make it, for example, get offer. So you just have to fill the URL in here and click on continue and confirm. And in this way you will be doing your first Instagram ad.